Big shots. Big fights. Better be Vosnik. No, 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 no. That is not what we're talking about, folks. That is not the big fight right here on the Double RT Boxing Show with your host, Mr. A. Thank you for your time and support. Thank you for tuning in. If you've been following the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show since season one, you know what the show is about. For you new people who's just joining, catching on, quick rundown. Best fight the best is our lingo. 1 through 15 in the rankings. We talk about the belts. We just follow their climb up. Now, like I said, you've been following this show through season one. You know there's a few fighters I, I push, I keep an eye out for. And one in a walk to wait since season one. I've been tracking down, talking about them, make a few episodes. Quadrilo, Abu Kakarov, uh, the Punisher, you know. We've been following him for a little bit, pumping him up, seeing what he's about. Now, he's not, he didn't progress how I thought he was. Um, turned out to be more of a, 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 a distance boxer. I, I thought uh, he had developed a little more power on him, but seems to be going into a, a point guy. Now, I thought he was going to get his big come up. When they had the announcement for him and Jesse Vargas, Jesse Vargas pulled out, uh, went to the zone. You know, I don't like I say, when Jesse Vargas went to the zone, he was mandated to fight uh, Abu Kakarov. He went that way, and now he's fighting Luis Calazo so many months or years later. Now, this is a I know Luis. Is a long in the tooth, you know, he's up there, but I don't think he's quite past it yet. Is he old? Yes, he's about 38 years old, but he can still whoop someone's ass. You know, I, you know, he's not that 38 year old just to get on your resume. He, he, he's, he's out there to fight. This is going to be a really um, a tough fight, I think, for um, Abu Kakarov. Definitely his best opponent. And I'm willing to see, like I said, when I first started following him, he seemed like he was a a, a, a good old power shot, you know, good throws hard. He got I, I like his body, and both these fighters got a good body game. Luis Colazo is gonna come forward, rip the body. We saw what he did to Thurman. Abu Kakarov has a nice body game, works behind the jab. He could jab on the move. I think Colazo is gonna push him on the back foot. So it's gonna be real interesting to see can he fight. And make a game plan on the back foot and not just move and jab. I want to see how he's going to do that. Will he be able to fight himself off the ropes? Because I, I do believe Luis Colazzo is going to try and uh, air, him, air him off and just walk him down. Um, if he's able to go behind the jab, it would be interesting to see can uh, Abdul Kakarov get past that. Because I'm, I'm picking uh, Quatrilo. I'm picking him. You know, it, it, am I doing a bias pick? Probably. Probably. I'm not even thinking about Luis Colazzo, to be honest. I'm not even thinking about him winning the fight. I'm just picking this as a straight fan, straight fanboy for uh, Quattrilo. Uh, like I said, out of the wall towards, I've been, like I said, since season one, through the other guys, you know, the guys you never heard of, the guys we never heard of, I picked Quattrilo. <clears throat> To, to to break through, I, I picked him because you, your Dennis was kind of known at the time, so it was just basically haven't seen, haven't heard much of Custo Clayton yet. I thought he'd be um, more now, but no, he's still up there in Canada doing his thing. Now back Quatrilo, he's a skinny frame, so that's I'm interested to see will he be able to. Handle the body shots of Luis Colazo. Will he just take the fight to Luis Colazo? It'd be it's, it's, it's so much more I want to see in this fight. Like I said, everyone else is dying to see Better Be Van Vosdick. I get it; it's a great fight, but this is my main event on the card, and Better Be Van Vosdick is the cold main event for me. I don't really care to watch that fight but i'm going to watch it eyes glued to the tv if you know what i mean you know i'd be pissed off if i fall asleep during uh quatrilo and fucking actually i gotta work so i'm gonna miss both fights um so 
that kind of sucks. I'm picking Quadrilo to win this on points. And I think it's going to be a tough fight. I think uh, Luis Collazo is going to give me all the answers I need about Quadrilo. Saying all that, my fanboy is I'm going to come out and say Quadrilo is going to get a unanimous decision like nine rounds to three. You know, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna show up. Cause you gotta remember, Quadrilo, he don't. He's on that Dylan White shit. Not, not a PED. <laughs> not a PED. Um, he don't need this fight. He's he's Spence number one mandatory for the IBF. <laughs> he don't need to fight Luis Colazo. He don't. He he, he could he could fight a softball and wait his turn. He he. But he's out there. A uh, big stage in America. Like I said, he, he missed his opportunity with Jesse Vargas. So he's like, fuck it. I need it. I need the shot. I take Luis Colazo on. I don't need to fight him. I'm already guaranteed a shot at Earl Spence. He got that by beating uh, Keto O'Hara. Um, I believe it was U- Ugas won his eliminator. He became a mandatory. And, and then uh, months later or a year later, Oh, Ab- 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 Abdul Kakarov won his against Keith. Now you can you know IBF always has their number one and two spots empty for eliminator winners. Ugas gave his up when he took on Sean Porter, so they needed another eliminator. They had one going with um, Jesse Vargas and Abdul Kakarov. Jesse Vargas decided not to fight Quadrilo, knowing that winner gets a shot at Earl Spence. He chose not to fight him and went to the zone. So was it money? Did he duck Quadrilo? Like, I can't afford to lose to this guy. No one knows who he is. Pretty good guy. I know maybe um, Jesse Vargas did some statement. Like, hey, I can't afford to lose to that guy. So I'm picking Quadrilo to do a world stage hello performance. Because everyone knows Colazzo is old. But game and still worthy of wins. He's not old where it just give people rounds. He's old and still picking up W's. He's not no Kevin Johnson. He's not here to give you work. He's here to whoop your ass and get a W. So I'm going with a, a Hello America, bright stage, shining star performance by Quatrilo. I'm like a, a, a unanimous decision right here on the Double RT Boxing Show.